some of us out there have old computers that are not capable of running the latest and greatest operating systems, or, you know, at least not very well. However, with a lightweight Linux distro, these computers can still be put to some use. Today we're going to look at the top 5 Linux distros for older computers. Now all of these Linux distros we will talk about have 32-bit support, but if your computer can run the 64-bit version, I would highly recommend that you do run the 64-bit version. Real quick before we start, thanks to Xenis? Xenis? Sorry if I mispronounced that. Thank you for recommending this video. We will first start with the famous Lubuntu. A distro with a reputation for being lightweight and speedy on older machines. Perfect for this video. However, the latest version of Lubuntu only supports 64-bit processors. So if your computer is 32-bit, I would recommend using the older Lubuntu 18.04 LTS alternate version. The latest release uses the beautiful LXQT desktop environment, which is basically the looks of KDE combined with the lightweight size of LXDE. It's almost as cool as JPT merch. Prices starting at just $12, link in the description below. The older 18.04 LTS release uses the LXDE desktop environment rather than LXQT. Please keep in mind that the older release is nearing its end of life. So, 32-bit processors will only have support for about another year, then support will end. If you have to use a 32-bit OS, keep watching this video because there are better options on this list specifically for 32-bit computers. Moving on to Puppy Linux, which is even lighter than Ubuntu. Thanks to its incredibly small size, the OS is able to be loaded onto the RAM upon startup, making it even faster. Puppy Linux requires almost no system resources, meaning you can run it on a computer from the late 90s and even a potato. Okay, maybe not a potato, but you get the point. However, Puppy Linux has the same deal as Lubuntu, where only the older versions still support 32-bit computers, so it has a limited lifespan for 32-bit machines. Peppermint OS, another lightweight Linux distro, is actually based directly off Debian. Since Debian still supports the 32-bit architecture in its latest releases, so does Peppermint. That's right, you can enjoy the latest release of Peppermint on your 32-bit computer. As the name suggests, the OS has a very pepperminty look and feel. The OS aims to be kind of like a hybrid of Chrome OS and Linux, meaning it includes major web app support, but also allows the user to install local apps if they please, because after all, it is based off Debian. Now on to Slackware, the only distro on this list that is not Debian or Debian based. Slackware comes with KDE and XFCE, two relatively lightweight desktop environments. But if those are too heavy for your computer, it's also got all sorts of window managers like Fluxbox and Blackbox and so on. Like Peppermint, its latest release still supports 32-bit computers. However, this distro is probably the most complicated on the list because it's not a Debian based Linux distro, so I would only recommend it for the enthusiasts or the experts. And finally, Debian. As we have previously established, Debian includes 32-bit support with its latest release. What's more, Debian has options for multiple desktop environments, so you can choose a light one a lightweight desktop environment, such as LXDE or LXQT. But I would encourage you watch this video to ultimately decide which desktop environment is best for your computer. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.